Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. What up, and welcome to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we're reacting to Trevor Noah behind the scenes daily show, baby. We are watching the Unpacking the Racist Responses to the Little Mermaid. We love The Little Mermaid. I grew love it. up on that movie. Um, grew up on all the like beginning Disney classics, you know. Absolutely. Cinderella, Pocahontas, Snow White, all of them. Lion King. Aladdin. Aladdin, yes. And so and of course I love the new ones too. I love, love Brave. I'm like the only person in my family who loves Brave. <laughs> It's a true story. <laughs> love Brave. We love Moana. All that love kind of Moana. Stuff. We all love the Princess and the Frog. We watched Coco, that the other day. Coco. Yeah. Yep. They're all fantastic. Um, and so super exciting to hear about the Little Mermaid as Disney is slowly starting to turn all of them, hopefully all of them. They have done into most of them live right action. Now. Yeah. Yeah. They've done a lot into live action and a lot of people don't like it. So first of all, when we're getting into this, I've already got that. People have a negative mindset with the live action. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm all about give me all the content I can take. If you're going to make it, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Now, truth be told, I haven't liked a lot of their live reactions because they're just doing like shot for shot. The, yes. Remakes. Yes. And that's frustrating. I loved Aladdin, not just because it wasn't a shot for shot. It a lot of it was similar, but they added something different to it. But it's also mm -hmm. such an enjoyable one. Lion King, my favorite animated movie, Little Mermaid, might be number two, barely. It's like, I just love the music. But the Lion King um, live action was not The live better. action for Lion King just really depressed me because, again, it was the same old stuff. They changed some things. The things I didn't like that they changed. But... They changed Cinderella, too. And to be perfectly honest, I wasn't the big... I, I wasn't a huge fan of Cinderella. I still don't mind liked that. It. My only problem with that is there's so many Cinderella's out there yes. in general, right? I mean, yeah. and we, we teach... I teach grade school, so we do a lot of stories, and it's usually always a version of Cinderella. Because yeah. it's so easy. Everyone knows it. But I did like... The Beauty and the Beast. I liked Emma Watson and... It was um, good, but we haven't really rewatched it that many times. Oh, I've watched it a couple times with oh. our daughter. Squeeze but me. anyway, moving Anyways, on. Anyways, moving on. So the live actions already have like a lot of negativity that I'm not a part of because just give me the movie, I'll watch it or I won't. So as soon as they cast Haley Bailey as the, the lead for Ariel, a whole lot of nonsense came around. And this is what Trevor, I'm assuming, is going to be talking about. Um, because there's definitely racist undertones and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to react to his thoughts and what he has to say and then talk about it afterwards like usual. If this is your first time here, please don't forget, or not your first time, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next upload of videos. And it might be Halle Bailey. I said Haley Bailey. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know, but I'm interested. I have to say, though, I feel like Trevor Noah looks younger when he grows out his hair. When it's yeah. short, he like it matures him. And I just don't him. think he ages at all. No, no, but he, every time he has got the longer hair, he seems younger to me. I don't hmm. know why. Well, there you go. I still like. I mean, I like his hair either way, but let's check it out now. You know, every time one of these like internet outrage things happens about which character is being played by whom, and people get angry, I would get it if people had good faith arguments. But you can tell that people are just using these moments to disguise. A discriminatory idea or like a like you know a racism that they hold or something you know it's, it's like right. it's your thing there's a lot of hate so out there too people are gonna like act anything. like oh no the little mermaid i'm here because i'm a little mermaid uh, purist <laughs> i uh <laughs> i come up with all these bullshit answers they'll be like you, you know you look at the history of the little mermaid I, i'm sorry the history <laughs> of the little you <laughs> mean the movie. imagination of the little mermaid I, yeah i mean if you look at it it's like, yeah if you if you were a fan you would have known that disney had long created Black Mermaids, like they did this, they spin off all their movies, they've had tons of them, they had like a Black Mermaid, she did sign language, it used to be a cartoon when we were kids, people don't care about it, they're like, it, 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 it's, it's never, it, it's never happened, it's, it's, it's just, look, here's the thing, it's not about race, it's just about realism, I, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's ironic that they try and use representation as the argument the other way around, you know, so they will say, it's it's not about representation. It shouldn't. Who cares who plays the role? All that matters is the best person gets the job. And it's like, have you heard Halle Bailey sing? <laughs> have you heard her sing? Yeah. You you want to tell me the best person? Like, who do you think they got? For, you think Disney is just out there in the street like you? Come, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you think they play games like that? It is the best person for the job. You're angry about who the best person was. 
That's what you're angry about. And it's like, no, but the, but the little mermaid, she means so much. And I, I don't deny that. I don't deny that it must have been amazing for any redhead little girl to see the little mermaid. It must have been amazing. It's a beautiful experience. But the movie's still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's not gone. Yeah. You can't exactly. not watch it. It hasn't been burned. It is still there. You can still watch it and you can enjoy it. I do all the time. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's like, see? you get so That's angry. Impressive. But what about the little girls with red hair who want, who want what? See themselves in what? A, a Disney cartoon? A, like, like you, are you being serious right now? You, 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 you have the princess in Brave. She, she was red hair. Mm -hmm. Remember her? Mm -hmm. Right? You have, um, you have Anna from, from Frozen, right? Stella Sherkin. You have um, the little kid from Up, and the one like pulls off the helmets and like the hair does a thing. Yeah. The cutest thing is like, pfft, ah! Remember that? <laughs> red hairs. There's tons, tons of other characters. There are more red haired Disney like stars, like women who are stars in the, in the, in the franchise, than black women. But now you're going to make it seem like it's... And it's not like one should be against the other. There's no need. You have the Little Mermaid. It's fun. Now you've got Hattie Day playing the real version of it. That's, that's fun. Don't make it about realism. It's, guys, it's under the sea. There's a crab. <laughs> There's a crab that is going to talk. And you're worried yeah. about this element? Yeah. 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 People are like, well, I just, I just think it should be. It's all the thing. And then, and then I love when people go, oh, yeah? So if you don't care, then how would you feel if the Black Panther was played by a white guy? I'm like, well, the difference here is the Black Panther. Blackness is central to the character's mm -hmm. identity. <laughs> like, literally, literally. You know what I mean? It's like, literally, that is the whole point of the thing. And by the way, if you're going to bring a white guy who's going to be like, bring him, bring him. I want to see that guy. Bring, just for fun. <laughs> just bring that guy. Just for the fun of it. Let's see what happens. Well, there are many people who haven't seen themselves on screen. You're going to get angry. He's going to get angry because now somebody who's in a wheelchair is playing this role. You're going to get angry because somebody who's black is now playing that role. You're going to, it's, it's, the original is still there. There are many parts that are still out there. It's not like there is nothing left. It's not like there's one movie in the world and there's one story and this is the only way you can tell it. There are many. Calm down. Or at the very least, the very least, we should get them to meet with Ursula and she should take their voices away. <laughs> yes. Just be like, Oh my gosh. Well, they'll still have their fingers, though, the Until keyboards. If somebody kisses you, yeah, don't, don't come back. You ready? People are so angry. They need to go touch grass, man. <laughs> we need to touch grass. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know either. Either. Maybe they're not grounded? I don't know. That, or maybe even like grass isn't the drug? No. I have, I have I no know. idea. I have no idea either. I have no idea either, but I think he's right. I think it doesn't matter who plays the role. And it's kind of nice that we have something different, right? You have a twist, but I am interested because the Lion King did not go so well live action, how they're going to come across like all these talking sea life. Like you've got the crab and you've got flounder, the clownfish. Like I'm interested in how that's going to look with real people. Well, Aquaman, I feel like did it best. Yes. Um, yes. Not that we have a lot of, we have... Uh, the second Black Panther coming out, Wakanda Forever, coming out this year, and the the villain is a guy from the ocean, I guess, Namor, right? So I think they're going to have some elements under the okay. under the ocean as well in there. So we'll see how they do it. But that was the biggest thing, like, is how how is Aquaman going to take place completely underwater? Yes. And they did it fantastically. Did. I felt mm -hmm. I thought it was done really, really well. A lot of money, very expensive. So you're right. How is that going to look? I I agree with you. To the sense of, let's just make it a little different. Just a little different. Make it its own thing. Like, it's, it could still have, I want to have the same songs. There was a little quick teaser that got dropped a, a few weeks ago for Little Mermaid. Oh. And she says just a few lines of part of this world. Sounds fantastic. The little I know about Halle Berry, Berry <laughs> Bailey, mm -hmm. is that, it's, I think it's her and her sister are in a, a group, a duo group, a singing group. So she's a singer first. And then I think she got into some Disney things or some other acting things here or there. So she is a singer who can act apparently well enough to get this role, obviously. And just the few words I got, for me, personally, okay, I'm sold. She can sing. That's all I care about because that character is so synonymous with singing and being able yes. to have that voice. That's I right. mean, she's the center of her whole family's performance that she misses out on in mm -hmm. the first part of that original movie. I'm not saying don't have some elements of the same, but please, for the love of you know what, make it a little different so it's a little more interesting. It gives yes. me a reason to stay attached by watching it. But you have a beautiful young actress 
who can sing Ariel is beautiful young because I mean that's that's all I personally care about I understand people have different opinions and you know keyboard warriors whatever they call that kind of thing yeah right I don't, I mean, we deal with that all the time. The comment section, people don't like what we say or we do. It is what it is. Whatever. Can't control that. But I like this topic because I love movies and I love to hear Trevor Noah's opinion about different things because he does it in a, a light, you know, lighthearted way. Mm -hmm. But he also speaks like so well to where like, like for me, I'm rambling right here. He doesn't do that. He just gets the point. He tells the things that are interesting. And I agree with in this one, everything that he had to say, it's silly. It's ridiculous. Where are those yeah. purists for The Little Mermaid? How are you ruining their life? I don't know. Well, Let's watch the movie and find out. People are like that with everything. But it's like you said, remakes, when it's a when it's a scene for a scene, it's boring and they tend to flop. Because we've already seen bad. the original. Yeah. We already know it. Like, watch it again and again. Yes. And I did like how Aladdin, like you said, how it had new songs with the old. And I appreciate yeah. that. So I'd be okay with losing some of the previous Little Mermaid songs. I keep some of them, like the top ones. They're all good, though. They are, but I'm cool with introducing maybe something new, too. I really like the Aladdin. In Aladdin, I really like the song that she sang. Um, yeah, Speechless. Jasmine. Yeah, Great Speechless, song. yes. Great song. And she actually it. sang that, yeah. too. And so that was so, so good. So I would love to see something like that in the Little Mermaid. It, I guess said, you don't have to change all the songs. Just it, it, it was such a breath of fresh air you have the same situation that you have in the movie but they twisted it and they made it new yeah so no, that's a good point and that is a great song new. i have it in my one of my playlists for my students because it's you know a wholesome song or whatever mm -hmm. bad words and every time it comes on my kids are like yes like they love that song i like the song so that's a good point okay you can give us some new ones but you got to keep part of this world under the sea if they don't have under the sea that's where you'll have serious revolts right yes there. because that's where you'll ruin people's it is childhoods such for crying out a loud. fun like dancing and that's what i kind of like about the movie too is like you've got like such a good lesson to learn and this growing up that ariel has to make and fight for herself but you have like this fun like party kind of time too and i think like this is such a stupid comment but with kiss the girl right yes. i think that's a song that you could actually change and accompany with it with you can add different elements. Mm -hmm. You can make it into more of a, I wouldn't do it a rock. You can make it more of a jazz. You can, whatever you want to do, you can make it something different. And I think it would still, it's got to be a big part of the movie because. Well, I, I was going to say, girl, don't that take that stuff. scene out. because that's. But like, I think yeah. that's an opportunity where you can change it a little bit. Maybe add a little, I don't know. Anyways, we're just nerding out right here in Little Mermaid. Let us know what your thoughts are about this video. Could you imagine Kiss the Girl as a rap? I can, That'd but cool. who's been to the rap me? Because she's not able to speak at that but point, But she doesn't right? sing it. It's the crab. Is... Sebastian sings it. Oh, yes. Because they're trying. He gets all the little, like, turtles and everything, and they're trying to make it romantic so that Eric will kiss Ariel. So, so, Eric can't do the rap because no. they're trying to convince him. But yeah, I mean, he can bring different sea creatures in there and bust some raps, or he can do I don't know. I just... And just because we watched Sebastian the, rap, the rapping crab, we just reacted to a song that Eva has a rap uh, yeah. by Eva V, and so it's on my mind, and I think that it'd be fun. But anywho, moving on with life. Let us know what you think about our reaction here. Let us know what you think about this topic. Are you excited for the Little Mermaid live action, or are you like one of the billions that could care less about this kind of stuff? Let us know. Comment below. And until next time. Au revoir.